So obviously the biggest basketball league in the world is the NBA. The vast majority of the most famous basketball players in the world also play in the NBA. The NBA is quite obviously the biggest basketball league in the world. But there are a couple of players that, while not NBA players, have just completely um, transcended where they've played and have become much bigger stars than pretty much anyone in the NBA that's not an all-star. And one of these players is the guy I'm going to be talking about in this video right here. And it's a guy who was a contestant on one of the biggest reality shows in all of Britain, Ireland. I'm not sure if it's shown anywhere else, but I know over here this guy is extremely famous. And it's Ovi Soko. Ovi Soko was an islander in the last season of Love Island where he finished third and he became one of the most famous people in his country. To be honest, one of the most famous people in Western Europe overnight. But if, a lot of people don't know that Ovi Soko is actually an extremely, extremely good basketball player, currently playing for the London Lions and will make his debut later on this week. But in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how good is Ovi Soko actually. Before we get onto the video, I'd just like to say we are doing a daily December. So if you guys like this content, subscribe. And we are trying to, obviously we're uploading a video every single day. If we can get 110,000 subscribers by the end of the year, that would be unbelievable. And yeah, we are through four in four days. A lot of people probably thought I'd be done at this stage, but we're going for our third daily December in three years. But anyway, now let's get onto the video. So Ovi Soko is an English basketball player. And to be honest, more so than that, he's a complete social media star. After finishing third in Love Island last year, he became a household name in pretty much all of Ireland, England, Scotland, and Wales, and anywhere else to show that show. He's one of the most famous basketball players in Europe, despite his fame mostly coming from outside of basketball. But again, this video is talking about his basketball career. So Ovi Soko played high school basketball in the States, where he earned a scholarship for the University of Alabama at Birmingham. The six foot eight power forward averaged 1.5 points and 1.9 rebounds per game in his freshman year. I'm not sure if at this stage he was playing at the three or at the four. I know for a fact when he was absolutely dominating UCL later on in his career, he was playing the four. And by looks of it, when he was playing Duquesne, he seemed to play a lot at the four but he is kind of a hybrid three slash kind of stretch four due to his athleticism. In his sophomore year, he played in 30 games and 29 of them being starts, averaging 9.1 points and 5.8 rebounds per game. His junior, he averaged 8.3 points and 6.8 rebounds per game, but it was his senior season after he transferred to Duquesne where he really, really began to um, completely just come into his own. Having started all 30 games, he actually led the Atlantic 10, his entire conference in scoring, and was only a seventh player in Duquesne history to do that, averaging 18.4 points per game. And he was also the only player in his conference ranked the top 10 in scoring and rebounding, and was the only forward in his conference's top 12 scores. He went undrafted in the NBA draft, which, to be honest, would be expected from off the top of my head. The only Duquesne player I can think of in the NBA is TJ McConnell. But at the same time, it is still a really good standard of basketball. The year after he left, Duquesne went on a tour of Ireland and destroyed everybody, including my team, by at least 30 points. So it is still a fairly good mid-major school. And after he went undrafted, he signed with a team in the second tier in France, where initially he kind of struggled because obviously he was playing against grown men, like actual pro grown men for the first time. And that tends to happen a lot, especially when people are coming into their own in Europe, when they're trying to play pro for the first time, they don't realize the difference between playing even college level and playing against grown men. And after that, he ended up playing for a team in Greece where he averaged 16.4 points, 16.5 points, sorry, 7.9 rebounds, 2.6 assists a game. However, once he signed for Mercia in 2016, that is when he really, really started to um, come into his own and become one of the elite players in Europe, to be honest, one of the best players in Britain. His first season, he was injured for most of it, averaging 6.3 points per game in the ACB, which is, again, is not too bad because the ACB is the top domestic league in the world. And in Euro Cup that year, which is the second tier of the Euro League, he averaged 5.6 points a game, which again, isn't too bad. 
However, the 17-18 season, when he came back from injury, was he was a different animal. He averaged 10.9 points per game in the ACB, shooting 82% from the free throw line. However, not much of a three-point shooter, only shooting 25%, and also averaging 5.1 rebounds per game. However, it was the Champions League that season where he really took over. He became, like, he was so good that he had a late push for MVP of the entire tournament. And also, he kind of started off really slowly. It took him a couple of games to really, really come into his own that season. And by the end of it, he ended up making the All-Star 5. And as soon as he went to the power forward position, he was just dominating. His aggression, he was getting boards. He nearly averaged 20 points and 10 rebounds in a spell of five or six games that year. And he was showing himself to be one of not only the elite players on his team, but being one of the elite players in a solid European overall league and a great player in the ACB. So Ovi Soko had another year last year where he continued to play extremely well, making the second team in the Champions League. And again, putting up similar stats in the ACB with 10.8 points a game and 4.9 rebounds a game. Last summer, something kind of changed. Obviously, Ovi Soko with his natural athleticism, with the fact that he's got decent touch around the ring, he's aggressive, he can rebound, he's he's best probably played at the four because he doesn't seem to be the best shooter from what I've seen. However, he can attack the basket extremely well. And um, it's obvious that not only would he have been able to stay at Mercy and be one of their best players, but he could have honestly gone on to a better team in Europe, especially with his kind of newfound fame and be one of the top players there. Who knows, maybe even going into a Euro League level team is because he has a European passport. That's not too much of a problem for most of those teams and seeing how you get on there. However, after his friend passed away, he decided to join Love Island show and think about what, what there was to life except basketball. And to be completely honest, in terms of his just career prospects, that's one of the best decisions he's ever made. I honestly have never watched Love Island, but all I know is that he was a very, very popular figure on that TV show. One of um, the most likable people, as far as I know, that have ever gone into Love Island and finished third in the competition. Now he's actually signed for the London Lions in England, which is absolutely massive because while the BBL is not the biggest league in the world, it's not one of the smallest leagues in the world, He's gonna obviously have to take a pay cut from playing the ACB to go into the BBL, but he could be the face of this league. I know 99.9% .9 of you guys are not gonna get this reference, but in the Irish Basketball League, the attendance for most teams is less than 100. It is horrendous. However, Gaelic football is our biggest sport. And one of the top Gaelic football players in the country is a guy named Kieran Donaghy. And he was also a basketball player. Since he's gone back playing basketball, he's almost bigger than the sport. He's so popular that his team has a 1,000-seater stadium and it sells out an hour before tip-off. And while, obviously, Ovi Soko is a much bigger celebrity than in England than Kieran Donaghy is in Ireland, it could have a similar effect, but obviously to a much greater scale. He's going to be the face of the BBL. Especially at the start, you're going to see London Lion games absolutely packed for people trying to watch Ovi Soko. And the fact is that they have a really good team. After winning the uh, BBL last year, it's going to be good basketball. Not only that, he's an exciting player to watch, so people are going to keep coming back. So while obviously in terms of pure basketball prospects, maybe going to the BBL wasn't the best decision, but the fact that he can do more in terms of like his social media presence, he can do more off the court, he can focus as um, was the reason why he went on Love Island. He can focus on his career outside of basketball, which is huge. He's also one of the presenters on Sky Sports Heat Check, the basketball show on Sky Sports with Mo, the hoop genius. Off the court, his prospects are endless, and I'm pretty sure he'll make up whatever he took in a pay cut for basketball in endorsements. So yeah, that is the video. So how good is Ovi Soko actually? Of all the kind of celebrity basketball players. I don't even know if I should call him that because he was a top class basketball player before he became a celebrity. Like in terms of, if you're looking at B-Dot who played pro, Filet who was looking to play pro, the professor who played a little bit of pro basketball, um, Chris London, all of these guys that I've looked at, there is no question about it that Ovi Soko is the best of all of these. 
He is by far the best of all of these. This is a guy who, while isn't an NBA standard player, there's not many players in the world that are NBA standard players. This is a guy who you can legitimately make an argument is a EuroLeague standard player, which genuinely, I don't think I've said any of the other players that aren't obviously elite, like, I don't mean elite, like NBA level players are. He is one of the top players in his country. He's one of the top players in Britain. He's one of the biggest draws in Europe. There's going to be a packed house to see him pretty much every time. And sky is the limit in terms of his career with not only basketball, just with social media after the summer he's had. But anyway, yeah, that is the video. This is a video on Ovi Soko, who honestly is, the more I've watched him, I watch him playing some full games, watch his highlights, the better he looked. Obviously, the jump shot leaves a little bit to be desired, but everything else, his footwork seems exceptional. He seems strong. He seems fast. He's a freak athlete. So an elite, elite basketball player. Again, maybe not NBA standard, but there's not many people that are. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.